if you follow me on Twitter, you know exactly what this video is about. Let's get into it. I'm going to go over why my account's banned. I'm sure you're curious. I know I was. I figured it out. Let's talk about it. I feel like this has happened before. Welcome back, everyone, to another video. All right, let me log into my account. Okay, this video will go a lot like the last one I did on the last time my account was banned. <sighs> okay, so I actually have a lot of fun editing these videos, but uh, that's besides the point. I'd rather my account not be banned, although it is fun editing videos like this. So, I do have the email from support, the first email. They asked me for a response, and I did respond to the email. I'll read my response to the email. Well, not my full response, but I'll read some of my response to the email, because some of it's private. But, um, and I will also put the email I was sent from the Artix Help team on the video via the editing software so you guys can see it. So, February 13th, a player in another country contacted us from your email to report another player to us for being racist. How would this person know your email address and why were they using it to contact us? I don't know how they know my email address. I mean, it's out there. You can find it. It's not that hard to find my email address. It's, I'm not going to say it, but it's pretty easy to find it. Um, and... I don't know how you report someone for being racist in AQ, but I'm guessing you can just type in any email address and then uh, send your report. I'm guessing you can do that. I'm guessing and you, I could type uh, uh, gaben at valve.com and I could put that as my email address when I'm sending a report. Another player emailed us on February 13th, same day, attempting to scam us for your account and were able to provide us with your email address. Again... People can find it. It's not. I've uploaded over a thousand videos. I've streamed hundreds of times on my channel. Sometimes stuff like that shows up. It's okay. Um, well, I guess it's not okay when people are trying to use it to get into my account, but you get what I'm saying. We have found that your email has been used on the account Boy Serpent First. Boy underscore Serpent First since September 11th, 2016 and was placed on it by the owner. We do not see that you ever logged into that account. I didn't. I remember when this account was created, I got an email notification. I couldn't do anything about it. Like, I, someone, made an, someone made an account with my email. I couldn't disable the account. I couldn't do anything to the account. Not to my knowledge, at least. Maybe I could have went to my account settings and deleted it or something. I don't have the password to the boy serpent, whatever. It's not my account. If you could please remove that from my email that would be great if anyone from Arkansas Entertainment is watching uh, that's on my account and basically if you know an account so like say I know Arctic's account it's Arctic's at battleon.com that's probably not it if that's if I just guessed it I'm sorry <laughs> but let's say like it's that I use his account I sign up for an AQW account so I it just lets you log in you don't need to verify it or anything before you can log in so you can just play on that account you can get that account to level 65 you can buy ACs on that account you can do everything on that account without even verifying it Although, you might not be able to purchase something without verifying it. You might have to verify it before you can purchase something. I'm not 100% on that. But I know for a fact that you can just use anyone's account. And accounts can be used more than once uh, to make an account. So, I use my email to make my account. But it can be used, like, I think, to infinity to make other accounts, too. So, someone found my email address and they made an account for it. Probably as a goof or something. And uh, I looked up the Boy Serpent character page. His account's not banned. <laughs> Mine is, you know. Okay, I own the email, so I banned my account. But uh, the guy that used my account to make a, to use my email, use my email address to make his own account. You know, his his account's just still there. Let me show you it. All right, here's his account. It's the exact, I copy and pasted from the email, the same account name. I looked it up on character page. It is not banned <laughs> or um, disabled, not banned, but disabled like mine is. Uh, disabled means you can get it back. Banned means you probably can't get it back. Uh, I can definitely get my account back because it's only disabled. If anyone's curious about that, I probably will. Like he's got new stuff like uh, he's got recent items too. Like he's, well, it's not, maybe that's not a recent item. Does he have any recent items? Doesn't look like it. But it looks like he played on this account during TLAPD at least because he's got TLAPD items. So maybe he stopped playing on the account since then. 
I don't know, but this account isn't uh, disabled. For some reason, mine is. Let's get back to explaining. And my response to this email. Okay, so I read the whole email. It's, it was up on screen. It should be off screen now. And my response. My email has been made public. If I could make it private again, I would. Uh, but it's out there. The email account I am sending this email to you on is secured by Google's mobile authenticator. So, unless my phone is stolen, I am the only one that can use this email. Anyone that knows my email can make an account or even send a support ticket, which you can do. I'm going to show that right now. Alright, here I am on AQ.com. I just go to help. Um, can't log in. Maybe not. Uh, can't log in. Hacked or lost account. So just keep clicking. Visit the help page. Send us an email. Email us. So all I have to do is get an account name. So let's get an account name. Uh, this one looks like an okay account name. So let's take the name. Copy paste. Uh, your current email. All right. Well, I'm going to guess that Artix at gmail.com exists. I'm going to guess that's an email. And let's copy and paste that. I lost my password. Please help. Submit. That's all you have to do to submit that. Doesn't really take too much of, uh, there's not really that much information you need. Uh, you can get an email and a username. Usernames are readily available. Everyone has one. Let's get back to the exp explanation. All right, uh, by the way, Dirty Bomb is the game that's in the background. It's a free to play game on Steam. There's no microtransaction BS. I'm not sponsored. I really love the game. I have a lot of hours into it. It's really good first person shooter if you're into that kind of thing. So check it out on Steam. It's free to play and definitely not pay to win. So I know someone's gonna ask what games in the background. That's why I'm saying this. Um, Anyone that knows my email can make an account and even send a support ticket from my, uh, for my own account without having access to my email. And then I tell them that I put a few things in my Twitter and YouTube to uh, verify that it's myself and not someone that hacked into my email. So, uh, my account being banned, I'm okay with it. Well, not banned, but disabled. I'm okay with it because they were trying to protect my account from someone that was obviously trying to get into my account, of course. I wish there was more of a like barrier to entry to get into an account because all you need is a username and password. You can send a support ticket with just an email and a username, which that's not hard to find, um, especially for most people. And yeah, like... They definitely, if there was like a mobile authenticator, I, I saw that they were working on a mobile app. Elena tweeted out that RX Entertainment is working on a mobile app for like maybe news and stuff. But if they put a mobile authenticator on the phone, uh, that would be a good step. That way you would need someone's phone to get into someone's account. And that would put another barrier to entry to people trying to hack my account. And I'm sure a lot of people would feel a lot safer if they had something like mobile authentication. Because I have it on my email. Uh, that I have made my YouTube account with, and I don't worry at all because they would literally need my phone to get into it, and if someone wants to break into my house, sure, take it, I don't care. Uh, but, that's a lot of effort for someone to go through to break into your house to get your email account, and same for an AQW account. So, I think they should have more of a barrier to entry uh, to get into accounts, and I'm glad that they disabled it in case someone did get into my account, deleted items and stuff, that would have been terrible hopefully i get it back soon i haven't got a reply since i sent my reply to the original email uh but the staff was very quick to respond uh they responded within a f well i sent it last late last night so it's not really a fair time but uh they responded i think at like a 10 a.m or something uh west coast time which is pretty good it's like uh one o'clock their time so thank you guys for watching the video my account should be unbanned um if the help team uh, doesn't unban, we should, uh, I might talk to someone else to see if I can get it unbanned, but, yeah, we should be good, hopefully it's back before Friday, uh, tomorrow there will be a news video like normal, and, uh, Friday stream may or may not happen, it might happen on Saturday if I don't get my account back by then, 
uh, because I really don't want to do it on alt and then do it on my main account again. Uh, that's kind of tedious. But that is all I have to say. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you to everyone that notified me on Twitter. I wouldn't have known about it uh, when I was on vacation. Uh, but you guys notified me it was about as soon as it happened. And a lot of people have notified me. Some people are laughing. I mean, I was laughing a little bit about it too. It's kind of funny. But um, I'm sure we'll get it back very soon. And uh, yeah, so no need to worry about anything. It'll be back soon, hopefully. I mean, cross your fingers, maybe tweet at Artix. Or no, don't do that. Um, I'll, see, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.